All right, it is 6 p.m. on Tuesday, November 15th. I'm going to call this regularly scheduled select board meeting to order. Are there any citizen comments? Okay. So for additions to and deletions from the posted agenda, we are having um, some continued discussion on the Peterkin Hill. Um, is Tom in the other room? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. We have a managed report here momentarily. <laughs> there, I don't have it with me. Zoe gave me some before, but I didn't bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean? Oh, maybe you guys don't have them. No, we don't have those. No, they, we did. Huh? They worked. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, it's it's there. there you go. Thank you. Got them now. Got them now. <laughs> um. So we are on to manage the report. Oh, you are. We do right the first. All right. I think the only thing on my report is that we have hired a public works director and he is going to start either the 28th of this month or December 5th. He's trying to establish some housing and uh, that's what is determining his start date. And that's all I have. Okay. Does he have a name? He does, but I texted him earlier today to see if he has yet informed his employer. He said he only needed to give him a two week notice. Um, so I don't know that he's done that. Okay. What he's was not, the, he's in lives in the region, but he's not super local. What About was two hours? Ago. What was the other? You said either December 5th or uh, November, November 28th. 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 Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. So that brings us to permits. So the first permit, uh, this packet's unwieldy tonight. Sure is. Uh, to, the tobacco license for Clover Vermont LLC, the, no, let's see, DJ, but everything looks, Fine. I'll make a motion to uh, move the budget uh, to the uh, Application for the license. Okay. Mary? Second. Second by Mary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries four to zero. One absent. There. Let's see. And then that. That's the only permit for tonight, right? I think. Um, Does everyone agree? Yeah, there's stuff in the Board of Sewer Commissioners, but, but that's, yeah. Okay, for the select board. That's it. All right. I've got nothing under old business. So that brings us to new business. We actually already took care of that. So Lister's reappraisal is the first item under new business. Do you guys want to explain? You want to come up to the table and explain what uh, you've done? Three, two proposals for the town line appraisal. First of all, reported by the state of Julia Gates. Right. Um, our finance committee asked us to push the reappraisal to 2025, completion 2027. So it'll be grand list year 2027. So we went back to our proposals and got new figures, new contracts from them. Thank you. 
so we have two for the town wide reappraisals to choose from, and we included them in your packet. One is NIMRIC, and one is NEMC. Um, we propose that we go with the NEMC because their figure is set in stone. NIMRIC is reserving the right to change their figure in 2025. Their pricing? Their pricing. Their pricing. Yeah. Right. And the NEMC folks came and spent a whole day last week, went over everything, did a presentation, very um, credible. Tim checked their references. We felt like they, we could communicate with them. We could work well with them. Um, mm -hmm. Nimric, on the other hand, was a little bit standoffish. So that- And just um, the uh, NEMC stands for New England Municipal Consultants Limited. Right. Have, has an attorney looked at the contract, town attorney? No. Nah, we this today, the three of us, and we were hoping that, uh, that the board would uh, just allow us to, to, the three of us, the ministers and myself, to take a look at this contract and great detail and see what it's all about. Uh, because I think I would prefer an attorney to look at it. Well, it's going to delay that. I think we need to uh, have this to the state by December 9th, right? Correct. It's a pretty straightforward contract that um you know I think that it's a good straightforward and um you know the contract's not as good as it would be in the list there's not a year every time we get them every year. Uh I work with mm -hmm. in different towns but I didn't and play a yeah. role in making this decision or this was made the decision uh absent my involvement, so I didn't do anything. Well, is the contract language language they provided? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> It's not lopsided one way or the other. And Ray's right. It should be reduced. Uh, well, I'll make a. Yeah. <laughs> what the, and what's the what's what's the okay? I guess New England municipal. Yeah. Consultant. No, I just looking for the cost. All right. Uh, so I'll make a motion to accept this. Uh, number, not number, but um. N A M C. N A M C. To do the appraisals pending a review of the contract by an attorney. Yeah, just my question. Well, I just did, but we need an attorney. Yeah, I appreciate it. We have a town attorney that can probably look at this relatively quickly. quickly. And who? Why don't you, Bill Dagger. Why don't you, uh, you mean Bill also yeah. specify the chair signed the contract so we don't have to get two other signatures once we get the. Uh, the attorney to review it. We could just have, I mean, take nothing to get the signatures once the attorney. I just live up the street. I can go down and sign it in 10 minutes. And so, like tomorrow, we could send this to the town attorney. You, we would do that. And who would that be? Bill Dagger. And if. Walk him over. Yeah. Okay. So, we also have. Um, a contract proposal to do the Woodstock Inn and Resort, which is separate from the townwide reappraisal. So we would we also included that in there. Is that the same? It's at the same, but that's a separate contract. Correct. Separate company, separate contract. And we we'll pay. We pay for that for the Woodstock Inn. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like no, we, we pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. And who is the George and Susan? Oh, that's right. Yes, that's yeah. okay. 
Yes. So George Sands Susie is for the Woodstock in appraisal and NEMC is for the town wide appraisal. Right. Okay. Yeah. And they talked to George today specifically in the question we have and right. Whether there's any extra charges because the Woodstock is buying more property. And his his turn to me was the whole presidential thing that Put stock in all are done under the name of the appraisal as a resident. So, part of the NEMC appraisal. However, the hotel we just got, the hill, is set. So if they were to buy more commercial property between now and 2027, there would be an additional charge. Now they to, to us correct. for the updated okay. appraisal or whatever. Uh, he was very good when we talked to him about making sure we had extra orders to change the contract for. 18, 1884 parcels to 2000. And he said it's all included. Yeah. So now the contract that you will see says 2000. That's on NIMRIT uh, or on NEMC. Sorry. All right. So, so going back to Bill Dagger, is the purpose is just to make sure that. Just to check the language of the contract. Just to make just sure. like we would do with any contract, we have an attorney look at it. Yeah. So we, we, we have a, need to, we have a well, deadline they, to Chief, December. Yeah, I'm just curious. If, if it may cost us more money to do this in 2027, why are we playing it and not doing it now? It's not costing us any more to do it. Well, you just said if you bought another piece of property, that would be an additional right. fee. Right. You're correct. Another commercial property. That, I think the inn is on a, is on a separate schedule from the town wide appraisal. Yeah, no, no. We have them on the same schedule, time wise. Okay. We're going to do it all at the same time, 2025 to 2027. But if the, so NEMC is set in stone as far as residential goes, mm -hmm. whether or not we start it today or we start it in 2025. But Sansuski for the Woodstock Inn, they were to buy more commercial property, there would be an additional charge. There's a reason we would delay that to 2027. If you know, right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So we have one motion. So we have one motion um, just to have Bill Dagger review it, make sure everything's in order. Um, but with the deadline of December 8th? Yeah. That, well, the, our deadline is the 9th. So we need it back before the 8th. Right. Right. Well, yeah. I'd give Bill a couple, at least a couple of days in there. Yeah. 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 So that's a month, a little yeah. less than three weeks. But I think yeah. that's enough time, right? Yeah. And, and we we email it. We don't. Yeah. So, it. yeah. The problem is we suggest change it. Then we have to go back to the back and forth. Yeah. We have to deal with it so it can take it takes some time so you really have to have it back for the bill i would say in a couple of weeks minimum so see what you can do yeah. you can take it over we can well all right if there are any complications let us know we'll have to we have, have a special, special meeting, meeting or something or an emergency meeting that. we also included our budget in that as far as what we project. And how we're going to meet the trust of the appraisal. We intend to meet the little town cooperation because the money we get on a yearly basis from the state that we will be able to recover. Okay. Takes if the budget figures are in there, if you have any questions, please let us know. If you want to discuss it now or we can discuss it later. All right, so there's a motion on the table to approve New England Municipal Consultants 
limited um, for the appraisal with their contract to be reviewed ASAP by the town's attorney, Bill Dagger. And if there's anything that comes out of that to quickly resolve that, if there are any other complications, we'll have an emergency meeting of the select board. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mary. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries four to zero, one absent. Thank you. We'll get to um, but Dan if Susi anything now. Yeah. comes so, up, then you come. We will. Yeah. So now we got to do the same thing for San Susi. I'll make a motion to accept uh, San Susi to uh, appraise the Woodstock in um, pending review by the town attorney. Second by Mary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, so we got two rock, two rocks. Uh, dues letter that is page. Page seventy six. I think this is just included in the this is line item in the budget yeah. isn't it? under the select board dues yeah. and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember ever doing this in a special article before. No. I think we can just no, that's we'll just right. budget it. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. It's in a budget. So yeah. Um so I think we just let them know that we'll just budget it. They don't need to have a special article. Yep. I don't know if they're asking for one. I think they're just telling us what our dues what are. They, huh? What they do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it comes out of the planning zoning budget, right? Yeah, we'll make sure we pay it. Um, and then Stafford Commons is looking for a, modif a loan modification. Yeah, I don't know. If, are you here to speak about that? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming. You want, would come up. Thanks. All right. Good evening. Uh, my name is Beth Long. I'm with Twin Pines Housing. I'm their CFO and deputy director. Um, Andrew gives his apologies that he couldn't be here this evening, um, but he had another um, planning and zoning meeting. Um, so we're here tonight to ask for the town's consent for, I'm not going to use acronyms, <laughs> Vermont Housing and Conservation Board to lend Safford an additional $58,000. So um, back in 2014, 2015, when Safford was developed, um, the town became a lender to the Safford property um, as an intermediary for a um, community development grant, VCDP, uh, Vermont Development Vermont Community Development Program. So the way that works is that's um, federal money that goes to the states, state monies that go to the town, and then the town um, puts it into various projects which are deemed to be a public um, good. So um, the town lent um, the property um, $995,000. Uh, Vermont Housing Conservation Board lent the property $1,100,000, a little more than that. And so as lenders, um, Bar Harbor is also a lender, but they're a current pay lender. Um, as part of this additional $58,000, we have to go to all the lenders and ask for their consent. So this is money that will be repaid roughly 23 uh, years from now uh, when all this money comes due. Um, the money was used to install a meter pit. Um, the project was built in 2014-2015. Um, Woodstock Aqueduct Company said, why didn't you put in a meter pit? And we said didn't wasn't in the plans and they said we need a money pit uh, a meter pit and you can't build any more until you put one in so we uh recently um finished four home ownership units there and so we put in the meter pit that that um 
Woodstock Aqueduct Company wanted at a cost of roughly $80,000. And um, the uh, rental properties portion of that is the 58 and VHCB is helping us pay for that. So we would like the select board's consent to allow this additional indebtedness to be added to Safford. And, and that includes no new debt for the for the town itself, though. That's correct. That's correct. It's just a on um, being a lender to agree for there to be a so more loan. You folks are responsible for the loan. Yes. Well, at uh, Safford, yeah, yeah, Safford Housing Commons. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Acceptable to me. I'll make a motion uh, to approve borrowing an additional $58,000 for Twin Pines Housing at Sa Safford Commons. Okay. So there's a motion for it's Twin Pines Housing Authority. Is that who's taking out the loan? Um, it's Safford Commons. Safford Commons. Uh, limited partners. Safford Commons Housing, Housing Limited, limited Partnership okay. is the actual borrower. We manage the property. Um, the property doesn't actually have any employees. I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed motion carries four to zero. One absent. That's great. I appreciate your help. Um, I, I don't, I'm um, embarrassed to say I don't know which one is the secretary. Can I leave? I'm the chair. Are you the chair? Yep. Can I leave that um, for signature? And um, I just have to deliver it to. Yeah. Um, is that for you to Tom or is that? No, I think it's in. I, it, it's up to you guys who sign. Yeah, I mean, you could designate the chair or whatever. Yeah. Oh, probably. Great. I'm sorry. I don't know your bylaws. That's OK. Um, and while you're looking at that, I, I will um, just say we'll, we'll have a um, press release we're issuing tomorrow. Um, we have purchased Mellish Wood. Um, it's the senior um, housing that's across the street from Max Market. Um, I don't know if you all knew Jeffrey Nichols, but he passed away. And we've been working with the estate. It's a very long process. Mm -hmm. And we... Um, purchased it and we're happy to be taking it over. And we've um, notified the local utilities and, and um, emergency services, et cetera. Yeah, we're happy to to um, be able to assist the seniors in town as well. Great. So great. Thank you. Thank you. Would, would you send us a copy of that when? Yes, absolutely. So we can put it with these documents and file it all away. Will do. Thank you for your assistance. Thank, thank you. Thanks for coming in and explaining that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I understand. Thank you. Yeah. So now we have what's left? This is the local emergency management plan. I haven't looked at this yet. Kind of a, I think it's, uh, is this yearly or yeah, five no. years? Well, no. Oh, that five years. <laughs> is it five? I, I don't think it's yearly. Yearly. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, we went over this yeah, last year. Yeah. The alien piece threw me, but this is familiar. Yep. So we're we looking for. I think there's two different documents here the adoption form and then the actual plan. Yeah, my recommendation is just do a double um, motion. I'll make a motion to accept the wording right. Lamp. <laughs> Local emergency management plan. Yeah. And they and the, uh, Ray made a motion to accept it. Yes, but we have to do two. Yeah, but the first one will be for the plan, and the second one is for um, the
There's the municipal adoption and there's the Woodstock well. Okay. I guess the first one is for the municipal adoption. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So motions for um, the approval of the municipal adoption. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. That motion carries. So the next motion will be for the town of Woodstock Lemp. I will make a motion to move the town of Woodstock uh, local emergency management plan. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Second by Kerry. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so we're up to fiscal year 24 budget. <clears throat> yeah, please. Um, so this brings us over out of the pack and into this, right? Yes, and actually not. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's right. I have an up. I have an updated version of that. It's, it's very, very similar, but I'll trade you. Yeah, this one is tells in color, so. Um, so do you need the PDF as well? The PDF. It's easier for you to do. Thank you. Thomas, if you have it in the email, but you'll copy. Um, Thanks. And there are here's a really these okay. are the the, the non the black the non, ones. Yeah, these are the ones and <clears throat> and um, Perry, my apologies. We've been trying for the last 10 minutes to email this to you. Oh, actually, if, if you've gotten it from that one, you can follow along. It's very, very, there's only one sub, there's one date that was changed, and I can point that out. Okay. I think there's a page maybe that, um, so I think. It may actually, the one you have may actually have been identical. So so this is the first of three meetings that we're uh, hoping to have with you, or potentially four, depending on, on the process. And we'll, we've discussed the process with you at the last meeting. We'll go through it again. Today, we're not gonna be talking about the numbers in the line item budget. We're gonna be talking about improvements to the budget. I'll, I'll, see, I'll show you. So if you can just flip to the next slide and you'll, you have the slides in, in your deck. You don't, um, I think you have most of the slides in the deck, just these little tracking slides that talk about the agenda I've taken out so you don't have a lot of pages. We wanna start with the key assumptions that go into the budget and give you a high level summary of the town budget, just a very, very high level. What are the taxpayer obligations? What are, how are, what's gonna to happen to taxes if you adopt the budget as it is here? Um, you know, how much are revenues going up and expenses going up? Then most of the discussion we wanna focus on is improving the budget. What, what can we do through the process of the select board decisions that you make to improve the budget? First thing we'll show you is the improvements that we've already made. We've been through every department. We've been through the line items. We've made you know, dozens of suggestions. Those, many of those have been implemented already. We'll show you what's been implemented. Some of those suggestions, many of them improve, reduce the expenses or increase the revenues. Some of them recommend increasing the expenses, and, and a number of those have been adopted already, agreed to by the town manager and by the department heads. Um, then there are, and, and we'll talk to you briefly about a line-by-line -line review that you've typically done in the past, and we'll give you the line-by-line -line budget tonight, and you can take over the next week or so, we'll show you the schedule. If you've got questions, you can give us those questions, and at our next meeting, we'll, or, or before then, actually, we'll answer those questions. Tomorrow, we'll give you a summary uh, of the line by lines. There's, I don't know, 1,200 lines. We'll give you something for each department on one page, which takes the biggest line items. And it was the format that we showed you uh, 10 days ago, where you basically have, if, you, if what you want to do is not go through 1,700, 1,200 line items and just see the biggest line items on each page, this report, which you'll get in the next day or so, we'll, we'll give that to you. And what we want to focus the discussion on are the, what we'll call new opportunities, which are the things that aren't in the line items, <laughs> that we've got ideas and the department heads have ideas and so forth about how we could improve the budget. And we wanna to talk to you about those because you won't find those anywhere else. 
At the end, we'll just talk briefly about the use of one-time funds. We're not going to recommend using them or how to use them tonight, but we just want to tell you how much they are and then talk about the meetings going forward. So that's the agenda. Any, there's a couple of the members of the committee here. It was Zoe, Tom, and Jill, um, I think. And then obviously the department heads, or some of them anyway. Mm -hmm. Any questions about the agenda? Sure. No? Good. Okay. Okay, so on the next page, um, the key cost assumptions. Um, we've assumed with, with, on average wage growth of 3%. Now there are some negotiations that may take place, and that you know is in the future. Um, there are, with only one exception, there are no headcount increases, and the one exception is a, a recent proposal from Planning and Zoning to restore half of a of an to tell me if I'm to restore half of an administrative position that has always been there and just temporarily isn't, and then to add one person to expand the capacity. Um, so that's built into the current budget. Um, there's a health care cost increase built into the budget of 18%, which is, yeah, the actual increase that we have received was 15, subsequent to that assumption was 15.7, 15 15.7%, which only takes us through half of FY24. And so we, for the moment, we've left the assumption in at 18% for the full fiscal year. And then fuel costs of four dollars and five dollars, which is, I don't know when we made these assumptions, but they're pretty close to maybe it's a teeny bit lower. But back in the summer, yeah, so a long time ago, so it's it, it close to you know the the prices I think are close to that. So those are the sort of assumptions that go into the into the budget. On the next page, uh, the town budget summary, and we've also got yeah, just keep going. That's we are on the agenda. So. We're comparing the FY24 budget to the FY23 budget. We don't have an FY23 actual. We don't currently have a particularly good way of forecasting the full FY23. We will next year, we believe, but we don't yet. So compared to the FY23 budget, the FY24 budget envisions a property tax revenue in other words, property taxes going up by 6.7%. That's what's needed to pay for the expenses. And we're assuming special articles essentially stay the same. You'll see that 209, 400, there's a slight increase in one of the special articles. We have not received the special articles. We have no control over the special articles. So we're assuming that they will stay the same for, for now. You have, uh, it said that one district, one has uh, changed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, um, Zoe, do you remember there's, there's one that changed, but it's just a couple of thousand dollars. It's from 209 to 212, but there was one, I think it was one that was added. For this. There's one special, there's one special article for $3,000. Okay, okay, that was, yeah, yes, it's the, yes, that's right. That's, that's what I wanted. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah. So we're assuming the special articles stay the same. And if they do, then taxpayer obligations. The way we budget, we budget property tax revenue and special articles separately. But in fact, in the end, they, they, are, they just get added up into the tax bill. So if you adopted the budget today with, these, with, with the numbers that we have, we would, we would need a 6.5% increase in, the, in taxes raised. Now, we promised you that we would start talking about the tax rate, not just taxes raised. And we're not quite ready to do that yet because the tax rate calculation is complicated and we wanna make sure we get it right. So we're gonna to try to have it for the next meeting. But I can tell you that so far there's, in the last couple of years, the list, the tax, the grand list that is taxable after exemptions has gone up by about 2% a year. And if it went up about 2% this year, which isn't over yet, um, then the 6.5% would, would go down to about 5%, approximately. A 2% increase in the list leads to about a 1.5% a, a decrease in the tax rate. Sorry, the six, excuse me, the 6.5% would not go down. The tax rate would not go up by 6.5%. In other words, if the tax rate was 100 cents per $100, 
it wouldn't be 106.5, it would be 105. So in other words, the dollars would go up by six and a half percent because the rate would go up by 5% mm -hmm. and the value of the grant list would go up by 2% and that would end, end up raising the money we needed. So, the, and the grand list, according to the, the tentative interim calculation so far has already gone up by close to 1% as of, as of now. So we can expect that the tech, that it will, you know, anyway, that, that just so you know, and we'll be coming up with, with, with those numbers more officially, if you will, before we end this process. The other revenue is, is increasing significantly. So total, total appropriations are going up 7.7%. But in order to pay for those, we only need to raise taxpayer obligations by 6.5%. Okay. And this is just so you can see, these are the same numbers that we'll compare to the, we'll, the same presentation we'll give to the trustees. Um, you can see that this number is going to be higher than the village number. I mean, both numbers will change as you adjust them, but I, I don't think you, it's going to be hard to get down to that level. So that's kind of the overall summary. Any questions about that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is improvements to the budget. And the first thing we want to do is to say what we've done. So what we've done is what you have typically done in the past, which is we've met with each of the department heads. Well, so remember, the department heads each met with the town manager and, and, and uh, Zoe and went through their budgets back and forth. And then the finance committee then went through again with Zoe and the town manager there with each of the departments. And these are the changes that were agreed to on this page. Um, we, we took about, we improved the budget. The first thing we did was improve the budget by about $200,000, meaning that we reduced expenses or increased revenues by about $200,000. And you can go over what these are afterwards. These have already been agreed to. They're being proposed. They're built into the budget that you're going to get when I give you all the, you know, the actual budget tonight. So all of these have been approved. I mean, it's proposed. At the bottom of this list, you'll see that in addition to taking out 200,000 of costs, we propose putting in 150,000, $149,000 of expenses. The largest one being adding $100,000 to the capital reserve for major engineering work on the main. I presume this is the, is this the sewer plant or the water plant? The sewer, sewer, sewer plant per the state mandate. I think we're nervous that, you know, that this work is coming. We have to do it. The state is requiring us to do it. And I suppose technically we could wait, but oh, but we need yeah. to pay for it. Yeah. I mean, we have to start paying for it. So, so that's so. This has been reflected in the budget already. We just want you to know that we've been through and and looked at things that we that we thought we could eliminate and are proposing them. So you can go through these again at your. Our, but all of this we're going to be proposing that you take off and read. And you'll you'll get the line, all every line item, and we'll give you the summaries. You'll get the line items tonight. You'll get the summaries tomorrow, and we, you know over the next week we're going to be taking questions that you have and and so forth. On the next page, the red items are uh, what we're call, calling new opportunities. These is from this is from a longer list of opportunities. The next page you have are more opportunities. In total, there's there's about a million dollars here of opportunities to improve the budget. The ones in red on page five are the ones that we think are most important and that you should consider. And so let me just go over them briefly. And I think what we'd like you to do is to give us some feedback tonight, now, I mean, just discuss it. And which ones do you think you might be willing to approve so that we can research them further and come back to you and make sure over the next few weeks that these are in fact doable. We think they are, but some of them have details. Let me use the first one as an example. Improve cash management, which could add about $125,000 of interest income in FY24. This involves, it sounds simple, it involves moving our money from the accounts that they're in currently to accounts that pay a much higher interest rate, but are still quite very, very safe. They're cash accounts at, at institutions. I mean, Morgan Stanley is an example. I've, we've just done this at an organization I'm on the board at. Morgan Stanley, if everyone knows Morgan Stanley, we've just moved four or $5 million into that. We're paying 3.7% interest. We were getting 0.1% interest before that. The town on average has a lot of cash because, 
and this may surprise you, but you know, for the on November 5th, when taxes are due, we're collecting all the taxes, not just the municipal taxes. And we only have an obligation to send that money to the state after 14 days. In those 14 days, on the roughly, I think it's $8 million, Zoe, that we've just sent to the state, is that right? We earn, we, on those eight days, we can earn $18,000 of interest. <laughs> That's, you know, times two, because it happens twice a year. Right. And for the rest of the year, you know, we take in our money, we have a base load of cash that we always have, we take in our money, we spend it down, we raise the money again and spend it. And when you add all that up, now, we think we should investigate this, but there is some investigation. Operationally, we need to make sure that the financial team here can operate by moving. This isn't, we're not going to get this from Mascoma. Right. Right. So can we operate by, you know, getting it from what I'm going to call a real bank, <laughs> but a different bank, which, you know, and apparently Zoe has informed us that the last time we changed banks, it was a real headache or a real yeah. problem, whatever. So we don't. Citizens, I think, before, right? We, yeah, we went from citizens over to Mexico. Yeah. So we're not going to do this if it's going to screw everything up. So that's the kind of investigation that we would need to do. I hope that you'll recommend that we investigate whether this is feasible or not. Um, the second one is controversial or a difficult decision, I think, in a different way, which is should we use a collection agency uh, to go after unpaid ambulance invoices? There's about $450,000 in available we've said what if you know if we could get a hundred if we could get a quarter of that it uh, would there's, there's not forty fifty thousand there's not no oh, okay sorry about that I guess no, so that's Medicare made Medicare Medicaid drawbacks and that is the final price we can charge as set by the feds. Okay sorry so I, this obviously we misunderstood this time. Yeah. So what are the write-offs? So the write-offs are our unpaid bill which is and collected bills, which we can collect for, which is about fifty thousand dollars a year. Those are the ones we can send. To okay. All right. So this this opportunity is one tenth of what we're saying. It's twelve. A quarter of that would be twelve thousand. Okay. Well, that makes it. That might change our decision as to whether to investigate it because we know that this is problematic. I mean, Tom has had some experience getting a collection agency that didn't really collect anything. Yeah. Other other boards have visited. In the past, and, and it's not working. Okay, all right. So let's take this. Uh, well, I mean, I you should take that into account. I can't speak for right. the committee. All the committee isn't here, but if I were you, I would take it off the list. Um, there are some um, there are some savings that are possible within the police department. Um, Robbie is not here tonight, so I mean, I think I would wait to wait for him to, to be here, but. Um, there are some consolidations that would reduce service levels, but could, um, but would save money. Um, and I think these are the two areas, uh, basically consolidating some functions between the village and the town officers. Uh, and that would, I think, I think the savings comes from a reduction in headcount of one officer and eliminating the midnight shift, which would be a clear reduction in service. Um, I don't. I don't know exactly how to. I think we believe this should be investigated. I don't know that the committee. I, I don't. We only have a couple of members of the committee here. I don't know that the committee said that we thought this should be done as much as we thought it should be investigated. So I don't think we have a point of view about this. Um, other than that, it, it's you know choosing between service levels and tax increases is your job, and so we wanted to make this bill. Um, there are some things that. If we had to cut the budget, we could do. Elijah has talked about, I think, like the least painful things. And one of these is delaying a dump truck purchase. Is that a way to characterize it? Least painful? No, not unpainful, just least painful. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, we discussed this some time ago, and this truck is on order. Oh, we just got the um, approval from the bank for the financing. So, we're not going to be. This is already done. Okay. Yeah, we're not. This is that's not going to work for this year. Okay, sorry. But there's that's potential for future years for sure. For, for FY fiscal twenty five. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we have to take that one off this list also. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's all right because we discussed this last night, and yeah. I thought this was a future truck, but I determined today, no, this is the one that 
uh, as it's I already on order. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's too All late right. to do this one. Okay. Um, there are um, two additional police items that don't res rely on, they're not reductions in service, but they're a different, so they would not reduce service levels, but they would, we think, <clears throat> reduce costs based on the use of vehicles. And there's one of them has to do with a take home cruisers model where police take the cars home and they think that that reduces the life of the, of the that, sorry, it increases the life of the car. And the second is sharing uh, a cruiser between the village and the town rather than having two separate cruisers because there's a, you know, because there's a village legally and a town legally and, and they each prefer to have a car that can be identified as their own. Um, Again, we're not certain about th that these um, that these reduce costs, but we think they may. And other towns have investigated these as well. So it's we think it's worth investigating. There's no there would not be a service. This is a cost reduction, not a service reduction. And then there's a few other uh, items. There's also one potential increase that we think you should consider, which is the paving, continuing the paving program in FY 21 and 22. Budgets did the budgets did put more money into road paving this year. The amount there is some amounts actually for paving, but it's reduced, I believe. Um, and so the question is whether we want to continue to, you know, continue to invest in that or not. So I don't know if you want to give us if you want to discuss this, uh, how you want to give us feedback. Um, we've eliminated a couple of these things so that we could, you know. Um, Uh, do any do, do you want to strike any of these off the list things that you don't don't think we should do maybe that's an easier way to do it other than the ones that we've already just struck off no i i don't think that they would just arbitrarily things that they had to um consider them and discuss them okay I'm I'm curious how taking it home the police cruisers is going to save money. Yep. So, so Ray, um, we, because it came from Moby, we just think that it should be investigated to see where you have. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to know if the. We're not sure. It, okay. It, it's it changes the usage pattern. We obviously it. it the way he explained it very simply didn't sound like to us that it was going to save. It's sort of like like you use it for 12 hours a day with two people as opposed to 24 hours a day with one. But there are other places that have done it. And I don't know, Joe, maybe you have some, do you have some knowledge about this or? I mean, it's really common in, in Florida yeah. for town and county agencies. I mean, obviously the state does it. Every I think every state yeah. agency does it. Um, I think in the long run, it saves money. I think it'd be a sting up front, but I think it would be worth investigating. Okay. I guess the answer, Joe, is we don't know, but we, right. when, when the department had said this is something that they've been thinking about and that they were thinking about it in order to save money, we said, okay, that sounds- I think if you do it with taking advantage of the municipal lease programs that are out there, that it becomes- That's when more it's to become attractive. Okay. As opposed to just buying outright. So I have no problems with investigating all these other things. Yeah. Okay. Maybe then just what, what you might want to do is look on the next page, um, which are the things that we didn't highlight. Um, some because they were quite small. Um, and some because they were long term. The biggest idea, which is I think is current is David is well, I would think I think David you would is it fair to say you're perpetual you're you're perpetually investigating yes. is providing EMS services to other towns. I think our conclusion from the discussion, David, was that this is definitely an opportunity that's worth your time to investigate. It's not something that we're likely to be able to put into the FY24 budget. So well, I think you'll see it in 25. Right. Of course, we have to get any in place. Okay, no, so. Right. so this sort of is a permanent item on this list to be investigated 
you know, continuously. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. The other big item is that a few of the departments, you know, said in response to what would you do if the select board said you had to reduce your budget by 5%, both fire and highway said, well, we would reduce capital reserves. And, and go ahead. Um, capital reserve, that's their, um, their contribution to yes. the future savings. Yes. And then there's there's, then the next year we have a problem. Yeah, yeah they were not recommending this. Okay. Uh, they, they, in fact, it's on this list. If it's on this list, it means they were not recommending okay. it because you. it's not in the budget. These are all things that are not in the budget that's recommended, but they are the, you know, if I think we thought that our role was in part to give you choices, mm -hmm. the department heads didn't recommend this and we're not recommending it either. Thank you. So, yeah. So if, unless you, and you, you, you know, over the, again, you, part of really today's meeting is really just as an introduction, we're going to give you all the line items. You can keep this. If there are any questions you have about any, either of these two pages or anything in the line items, we're going to ask you, I'll give you the schedule in one minute. Um, you can, our intention is over the next week to ask us questions so that the next time we come back to you, we can answer all, we can have all those answers ready and we can, you know, um, talk about whatever further improvements we want to try to make to the budget. Before we do that, just as a last step, I just want to share with you the numbers of for the one-time funds. I think you know this, but we just wanted to put it in one place. I just wait for, make sure for Ray to make his notes. So are you okay? Yep. Yeah, all right. So I think you know that the town has Six hundred and sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty-five dollars in ARPA funds, and the town unaudited is looks is looking like a surplus, and we don't think this is going to change significantly. A surplus of from FY twenty-two of seven hundred fifty-six thousand seven hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars. You can see the village numbers there. Um, just FYI, we have not yet reviewed the policy um, of. Uh, for for the use of one-time funds, um, which which the Tom and the management team have proposed, and we will look at that for the next meeting because we're going to want to talk about these funds the next meeting. But I don't. I think I would say that the informal feeling of the finance committee was that we were not enthusiastic about using these funds and injecting them into the FY24 budget because there is such a significant. Uh, capital spending need coming down the pike. Um, I, I think also there are constraints on how we use the ARPA funds. I don't think it's a practical matter. And those constraints would constrain perhaps to some extent how we use the ARPA funds. We can't, and Tom was explaining this, I think the other day to, to the trustees maybe, you can't just use the ARPA funds and say, reduce the deficit. You have to use them for things that are in the budget. But there are things that are in the budget that we could use them for. The surplus is completely flexible. But I think that we, you know, in the future, and again, you know, what what the finance committee can do in year two in the second year cycle is different than what we can do this year. In the future, what we would be doing on a page like this would be saying, let's go to our 10 year plan, which we don't have yet, but we will. We won't have it this year and say, all right, looking at our 10 year plan. It looks like we could use this. We could use this surplus, this FY22 surplus to reduce the tax increase to zero this year. But then taxes are going to go up 12 percent within the next two years, right? Because of X, Y, and Z, and we could all see that clearly. And that's what you really need to make that decision. If, until we have that this year, I think what you're going to have to do is to imagine a long list of big projects that we know are coming. And to us, at least, our consensus was, I, am I correct in conveying this? Our consensus was that we'd be very cautious about using this funds in any significant way to reduce the taxes but it's your decision and we'll have that we'll schedule that discussion so i just want to interrupt yeah, please. for a minute just as a, a, a reminder to the finance committee the trustees were pretty um 
adamant about using um, ARPA funds to uh, eliminate their deficit. And, you know, there's a process to do that, but essentially it would be another uh, reduction of that village number of 256,000 by 97,000. Yeah. So just keep that in mind as we present to the trustees, they will likely say yeah. that's what they want to do. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, we're not expecting, yeah. Our job, I think, is to recommend, but we understand the reasonable, there are reasonable points of view on both sides of these issues. Okay. So what we're proposing then on this schedule, and this um, is this is a slight revision of what we talked about. It's the same principles what we talked about a week ago. Is today we've given you kind of we talked about the opportunities and the risks. Um, we wanted you to decide on which opportunities we should investigate. You we've eliminated a few, and you agreed that we should keep investigating the rest. Um, if you could over the next four or five days uh, email us questions um, uh, that you have, we're going to give you tonight the line by line budget, which you've always gotten in the past, the full whole thing. In fact, I'm not gonna give it to you yet because Ray's gonna start analyzing it. I'm gonna give it to you in one minute. Um, we are preparing the summaries. It's my apologies, my fault. I, I just didn't have time to get the summaries formatted for you tonight. I'll get those to you as soon as possible, but I think I should have them to you by tomorrow night. Um, the numbers are the same. It's just that the summaries are on one page and, and they don't. the summaries don't show you every line item. They show you the top 15 or 20 line items, and then there's an all other. So it'll show you 80% on one page, and the rest, if you want, you can dive into the detail. But you'll have that tonight. So if you can, in the next five days, give us the questions, email them to Zoe. That's Zoe's going to be the point of contact. Um, and um, we will try by the 30th, which is before we're going to meet with you, we'll try to answer your questions before our next meeting. But after Thanksgiving. Okay, the thirtieth. Yeah, it's yeah. after Thanksgiving, right? So, I mean, you know, if you send it, you can send us questions whenever you have them. If you have them past the twentieth, just send them. But and we'll do our best to answer them. We'll certainly try to answer them by December sixth. And so on December sixth, we'll have another discussion, and we'll talk about any line by line changes that you think are interest you're interested in. At the um, the select board. First meet. Right. I had December six is our next select board meeting. Select board meeting. Yeah, that was gonna yeah. be the budget. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Just November 30th, we have a budget meeting. No, no, November 30th is just the day. It's just right. we'll send you back the question. We'll just oh, it's all by email. Okay. We're meeting. This is it's what between us. Yeah, these are the second column is between meeting. Very good. So we'll just exchange emails basically. We'll answer your questions as fast as we can. So then we'll be at the um select board meeting for December 6th. Correct. Okay. On the 6th, you will have had your, hopefully all your questions answered. Right. And then what we'll be talking about is which ideas should we be using to cut the budget or to increase the revenues or what changes do we want? What improvements do we want to make to the budget mm -hmm. on the 6th? Um, and then, I, is it Jill, sorry. Oh, this is the, in between the meeting December 6th and 20th, but, sorry, we'd have to work on the budget actually making the changes to make the budget balance again. The finance committee will review it again, and then we'd be able to move that version two of the budget and um, the standard meeting. Got it. Okay. And I think at that point, then we would have made between us between these processes we will have made the changes that you want we'll see we'll we'll go back to that summary right overall if the you know if the special articles stay the same and you know here's what the growth would be by that point in time we will have a, a rough estimate of what the grand list will be or at least possibilities for the grand list so you can see what will happen to the tax rate if you adopt that budget and at that point in time we will i think by then have a proposed policy on the use of additional funds, which you can't, you and the trustees may or may not want to follow, or you may want to have different policies. But we'll be able to think about once you have, you'll be able to think about whether or not the pros and cons of applying okay. some of those one time funds. So we start the kind of the interactive process now. Send, use Zoe as the point of contact via email, ask whatever questions you want, and we'll get that started. So. David? 
And the board may not know that they're actually putting three thousand dollars that you guys suggest a substantially hurt by Apple. You know, the way I do business. But you only have us in there one night. We should be included in all of these. Yes. Yeah. You know, it, it, absolutely. Okay. So you only have us down for one night to answer questions. Okay. Sorry. That, that was no, I think Tom's intent would make yeah, that, was, that that you guys are available are here at everything. Okay. Yeah, that was just an oversight yeah. in the schedule. Absolutely. That that's sort of my question too. Mm -hmm. The department had um given taken important. Yeah. David, were you referring sorry? So the attendance issue was was resolved. Agreed. But what what was the specific point you make? Was just make the thing in principle? Any was there? I thought it was saying it's just on here once, but they meet with us again. Right, no, no. But where's the? Yeah. I meant the three thousand dollars. Was I was just. Using oh, that's just an example. Okay, fine. Bro. Sorry, I misunderstood. I didn't see that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think that was just an oversight. You, Tom, had expressed the desire to have sorry, have people here every time. Pardon. Tom had expressed a desire to have the department heads here at every meeting. Okay, good. I, I, nobody was yes. opposed to that, I think. Okay, right. any, any other questions? No. Tom, anything you want to? No, I have nothing. Okay, thank you. Uh, so for Peter Gunn Hill, uh, Dolores Gilbert had emailed us because yeah. she was uh, felt that. 30 miles per hour was not um, was slow enough or appropriate enough speed limit for Peter Kim Hill. Uh, unfortunately, because of the 85th percentile of the speed survey that we did have done, we can't go lower than that. But if she, if she was the one that we requested in the first place and is not happy with 30, 30 miles per hour, um, and I did notify her that we'd be talking about this tonight, I don't see her on there. Um, I think it would be um, appropriate to uh, refer it back to the Thank original you. ordinance. I don't know what how the rest of the board feels. You get it. No, no new signs. We never even signed the ordinance. And I would just save the money. Yeah, I think just save the money, he said. So, you know, not put up 30s, just go back to 35. Yeah. Stay at 30 or stay at 30. Stay, stay, sorry, yeah. stay at 35. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's, it's currently. We had voted to do 30. Um, it hadn't been circulated yet to, you know, enact the ordinance um, for 30. So presently it's still at 35. Are there signs that say 35? Yes. Yes. But the email from Dolores Gilbert, she wanted it lowered to 25? Yeah. Yeah, she wanted it lowered to 25, but we just can't do that. Um, we're we're limited. Um so we could entertain a, tw a yellow 25 on both ends. But I at the of the load. No, you can still leave it 25. You can leave it at 35 and put a yellow 25. But, but it's just not important. No. But, um, and we can do it in two steps. We can revert back to the original ordinance that's as posted now. <clears throat> and in the future, consider if, if we're not. If, if, we haven't changed the sign. Why? Yep. Why bother? And if she wasn't happy, I mean, if, if they're we dissatisfied, can't go, we can't go belong anyway. thirty. So right. Yeah, we the giant signs were not changed because there's a sixty day waiting right. period. So in that time period has not gone by. So. And we haven't ordered the sign, right? Right. We have not. Okay, so I make a motion to leave the speed the way it is, and uh, Peter Kendall. So Peter Kendall. So there's a motion to revert back to the 2021 20, or whatever the current speed. Okay. Yeah, 2020. I think 2021. Oh, did one no, in, all right. But close enough to yeah. the current 
the current speed limit okay, of, I'm sorry. Of, of 35 miles per hour. All right. You might be right in. All right, that, that's right. Is there a second? Yes. Okay, second by Mary. All in favor? Aye. 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 You know, just serious. This is just kind of a point of organization. Yeah. Should we go back and amend the agenda since? Oh, I did at the beginning. Oh, you oh, did. Yeah. I wasn't here. Yeah. yeah I did. Oh, okay. I did right here. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because I was going to say, uh, without doing that, yeah, and be a little. Yeah, risky. but I did also. This came up after the uh, agenda was published, but I did notify Dolores by email that we would be talking about this. Yep. So she's so she knows that it was up for discussion. Good. Um, I have no other other business. So it brings us to board sewer abatement requests. Hmm. So we got several of the, to hundred. Several of those. You know, I, I don't. Is this typical? No. This no. Is, this is a lot. This is. I, you want to come up? Yeah. 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 Yeah, hi. Yeah, go ahead and explain. Uh, so we purchased um, 37 through 39 Central, which is, we have 37 Central Red Wagon and RT Home in that building um, in April of 21. And um, it's a little confusing because the, if the, that parcel was combined with um, uh, Au Comptoir or Zoe's place. There was one at the bar behind us, and it was one parcel. Um, so we purchased it, and we paid our our property taxes. Um, so they were joint when we paid in like November of twenty one and April of this year. We got a property bill, tax bill for the property, but the owner did not, the previous owner, Zucker, did not forward the the sewer bill to us in, in March. And the first thing we knew about a sewer bill was October and the penalties and interests were up to mm -hmm. 300, uh, let's see, $375 and penalties and interests of 422 17 um so so yeah october 3rd is the first bill i ever got for anything um and uh, so i don't i mean i would have would have paid it immediately if i'd known it was there but and i think you paid the balance and i did pay the, i did pay the balance right away once yeah. uh, the, the principal once i i got it so um so i was hoping to see if i could get Another part waived. Um, and I don't know why didn't, we didn't receive anything sorry. in between. I'm oh, sorry, in between um, from April on to October, we didn't receive one. We, the first thing we got was this, that the October 3rd delinquent notice. So, so he's purchased it in April. Team. I know, but you purchased it in April 2021. Yeah. And then, was that the 2021 school bill? No, this, this, this is, is a 22. 22. The big question is how did that not get? So did it just not go up? When did you receive this? The first, the first thing I we received anything was October third, um, of 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 this. Of, I'm sorry, of, of this year of 22. The, so like last just month. the last month, and I, I was just shocked at like, oh my god, I. I yeah. So 
it, you know, based upon what you, what we, there's either two choices, either the listers didn't make the transfer for, or it didn't happen in the sewer billing account. That's the only explanation here. Either way, it's a clerical error on our end. Okay. If it's a clerical error on our end, it's on our end. Yeah. And we um, do it. Yes. Do you want to make a motion? Yes. Um, make a motion for the um, interest and penalty right there. Interest um, for 2217 and penalty 875.28 for clerical error. Motion by Mary. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second by Ray um, to abate the interest and penalties. For the clerical error. For the clerical error. All in favor? Oh, Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Now, so next up is Susan Chamberlain. Susan Chamberlain. <clears throat> I think this one's a new one, isn't it? Uh, a new purchase. It doesn't say when they purchased the building. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's it's on page 102. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Very... Oh, it's on page 102, the explanation when they when this happened. Yeah, this is the same kind of situation. They're asking to be abated a hundred. Okay. Well, that and also to refund seven fifty eight eighty five to is seven fifty eight eighty five the rough the abated amount? No, oh, the, the six six seventy five. I don't know why we need to get in the middle of that because yeah. they should just send a check to the each other. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't mind the um, 1171, but I don't think we should get involved in transferring funds and so forth. Yeah, they want to pay it. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to uh, refund or abate 111 dollars 71 cents due to clerical error. Um, and not get involved with the uh, transfer of funds paid by the previous owners. Okay. A second. Okay, motion by Ray, second by Mary to abate 111.71 and to allow the owner and previous owner to work out amongst themselves um, responsibility. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries four to zero. With one absent. And that brings us to 52 Pleasant Street. Yeah, this is the one where the apartment or the garage is just part of the um, same sewer line and they're just asking it to be reverted back. For some reason, the previous owner had it separated out. Isn't this the one that has abracadabra in it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. So I would really say it rarely has anyone in it. I mean, it's going to barely have anyone in it soon. Yeah, and it wouldn't matter because it's all on the it's same It's all on the same bill. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. So they're asking to have the bills consolidated to one. That would be the motion to consolidate the bills at the one meter or yep. one one bill. One bill. Yep. 
That's fine on, fine on me. I would I move would... to consolidate the bills. Okay, motion by Carrie to consolidate the bills. I'll second it. Second by Ray. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries four to zero with one absence. Sewer permits for Mickelson 63 Pleasant Street Central. Thank you. 63 Central Street. I don't know why I said Pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, that's page 105. It's, it's a little long packet. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. This is that's the one that's under construction yeah. now. Yes. It's yeah. residential. Converting to a five bedroom. They'll put in a new sewer service line. Cap the existing. Five bedroom putting in a new service line. Oh, she okay. said. I have moved to approve. A motion by Carrie to approve. I'll second it. Second by Ray. All in favor? Aye. 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 Have they paid the. the Assuming they, they, have. they pay all. Yep. They have paid. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. So Mickelson is approved. And Banks is for the green, which is, which one's that? Yeah, this one is, oh. is that the, uh, right beside the, uh, bank? the bakery? Yeah. 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 New business. And this is really a, a reduction that they just need this to get their state permits. They're trying to get a, a state permit. And, that's why they're going through this process. Okay. We don't have room. Reduce water usage. I'm sorry. You're going to decrease the water usage. Yeah, that's what they're claiming. To, but because it will, it's no it, longer a house. That it's going from resident uh, from apartment or residence to. I think everything anything. upstairs stays the same. It's just yeah. on the ground floor where they're just going to go to a. Um, they're preparing the food. Not there, so they're not no. going to have a kitchen. So it's offsite preparation. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's just going to be retail sales. That, um, I could see that changing in the future, but that's what they're doing right now. This is um that uh, the pastry. Show. Yeah, they call it uh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> not sprinkles, but Splendid. sparkles. Splendid. Splendid. Big. Oh, that a different one. Different. No, I think that's the one. I think. It's splendid. It's right on the yeah, yeah. over the green. Um, yeah. They're looking. So what are they looking for? Approval, approval to or permission to just make the change. Really, in the is it our? Would it be our billing to them? Actually, it won't change anything in the billing right. because so, it's all based upon um, their usage. So I guess my question is, what do they need from us to move forward with the state? Just this, <laughs> just this okay, approval. Perfect. Oh, I'll yeah. submit this to the state. All right. So then I would entertain a motion to approve this um, commercial app application. So moved. I'll second it. Motion by Carrie, second by Ray. All in favor? Aye. 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 That motion carries. Okay. We've already done for approval minutes. We've already done number one, which leads the minutes and then joint minutes of 11 1. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from joint meeting from 11 1 and a select board meeting from 11 1. Yeah. Second. Second by Mary. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second by Mary. Thank you. Not I'm debatable. Second. All in yeah. favor. <laughs> you said thank you, but I heard second. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I ask oh, a question? Oh, yeah. PG, question. Did Did you guys talk about my permit? Yes, we yeah. approved it. I missed it. <laughs> okay. We did it early on. Oh, sorry. I, I totally did. I was on late. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Price okay. much your new product. Sorry. Yeah. Well, we have to have that to have accessories and things. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Um, um, Carrie, um, 
I guess we'll make a uh, PDF of this uh, line item budget and send it to you. Does that, will that work for you? That's fine. Thanks. Okay. Yeah.